So we are back to the javelina. We got it moved over to just a dirt area. Now it's on just more natural ground so it can continue its decomposition and the turkey vultures and whoever else wants to come around and eat on it. So this is part of the food chain. Something I wanna get everyone used to as we continue talking food chains from all the way down to the bottom, all the way up through. So you can't just look at the, the larger players when you talk about your food chain. Some of the most important work happens from some of the smallest things. So we're gonna come down. We're gonna take a look at some of the action that's happening here. To really take a look. And for those of you that are studying or for my teachers that are out there, please feel free. Pause, stop, turn me off talking, whatever you need to do so you can continue the education. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So my hope is they don't tear it apart too much because I would really like to have the full skeleton when we're done, but I can't really control how that works. Did not want to take food away from the wild animals. So we just got it off the road so it's safer. You don't really want to keep things like this on the side of the road because then it's asking for the turkey vultures to try to eat it on the side of the road and therefore possibly get hit themselves. We've taken a turkey vulture off the freeway and that's exactly how it happens. You have um, your cleanup crew, your nature's cleanup crew are trying to get down and do their job, but oftentimes the deceased animal, the dead animal on the side of the road isn't still in the road. And that is not the best situation. So you say, well, why would you pull it off to the side of the road? Why would you put it in the desert? So then the animals and, and all the bugs and everybody really can have a safe chance at it and not um, risk getting run over themselves or this animal just getting just pummeled into the, I don't even know what you call it, into the, the ground when multiple cars have run them over and they're just part of the concrete. And so we don't want that either. So I want to make sure that it stays in the food chain and then we do the best that we can with the education with it. And so next up, I'm going to be scooping out. Yep. You heard me right. Scooping out some of those bugs and they are going to go hopefully do that same job that they're doing on some teeny, teeny, tiny bats that I have. I'm excited because if you see how tiny these little worms are, that's exactly what I need for something like teeny, teeny, tiny canyon bats. So I'll be showing that to you next.